Let me introduce you to Jeff Toki with Bluegrass uh, or Honor Flight Bluegrass. I know you guys are soliciting for a flight coming up in October. It'll be your first in two years. But before we dive into the specifics of that, remind people exactly what Honor Flight Bluegrass does. Uh, Honor Flight is a way where we can honor veterans by taking them to Washington, D.C. to see the memorials uh, that they often sacrifice so much for. And it's an all-day flight uh, flying out of Louisville. Uh, all expense paid, veterans pay no fee to go. But it's just our way of honoring the veterans. It's an, it's an incredible experience. I was lucky to, to fly with Jeff uh, several years ago and I got so much out of it and obviously I'm not a veteran. Uh, so it, it's such a powerful experience for these men and women. One thing that I found to be interesting was the number of people, I, I didn't expect it to be difficult for you all to solicit people, but so many veterans say, no, I'm going to reserve that spot for others who are more deserving. And then we gotta get rid of that mentality. Absolutely especially the older veterans we find they're so modest they're so humble they say ah, i don't deserve that or it's it's the, the the soldiers or veterans who didn't come back they're the ones that are deserving of this so there it's just uh it's admirable for for what they feel so you have a flight coming up in october we mentioned this is the first uh in two years because yeah. of the pandemic uh who specifically are you targeting for that and give us that information absolutely uh, you know we're targeting our world war ii veterans we haven't flown for two years we know we've lost over 35 veterans who have signed up our world war ii veterans uh, an 18 year old in 1945 would be 94 years old so any world war ii veteran that has not been on honor flight those those are who we're targeting to get on this October flight. Time the, is of the essence. Time really is of the essence. That, that number you drop there is, is very difficult to, to hear. Yeah, and we lose about 300 World War II veterans a day in the United States. Think about this. There are only 300,000 World War II veterans of so the 16 million men and women who served. So, and there, we think there's about 2,000 or so World War II veterans left in Kentucky. So time is of the essence. We don't want them to wait another year. We want them to go this year if they can physically. Talk about the specific date of the flight and how people can get signed up. Absolutely. It's October 20th uh, of this year. They can go to honorflightbluegrass.org and sign up. It's very easy. You can sign up as a, a guardian, as a veteran, or a volunteer. And for those who don't have a computer, they can go to 1-888-998-1941 and call leave a message and we'll get back to them. We really want our World War II veterans on this flight. I think it's important to point out to people, you talked about the website and you talked yep. about the number, but I have a 94 year old member in my family and yeah. she is not about to jump on the internet and she's not about to call an 800 That's number right. or toll free number. So it's okay for people who are family members of veterans to reach out on the, their behalf. Absolutely, family members, or if you just know of someone, hey, I know of someone who lives two houses over. I think he's a, he or she is a World War II veteran. You can call the number, the deadline is September 7th. We've got to submit all the names. You've been on and on our flight. We have 186 people who fly, so we've got to submit all the info to TSA early. So we've really, you know, we've got to have those signed up by September 7th. So for the veterans that are sitting at home thinking, you know, along the lines that we first talked about, no, this is for somebody else. Somebody else is more deserving of this. Obviously, that's not true. We want you to join this. Right. What's the experience like? As someone who's traveled several times on these flights, what is the experience that they get from this? You know, we hear it time and time again, the veterans tell us it's one of the best days of their lives. Seriously. They go, they're honored all day, they're VIPs, people shake their hand if they can, they nod. It's an extraordinary day. They, they don't think they're deserving, but at the end of the day, they'll say, oh my gosh, I, it's one of the best days of my life. And how, how much better does it get? One of the most powerful images for me when I was traveling with you all was at the Vietnam Wall yeah. when one of the gentlemen found the names of uh, his friends. Yeah. And you could just see it, it he was just overtaken i imagine those stories happen very often well yeah and it changes that you go to the world war ii memorial it's very patriotic it was a, it was a war that we won uh it, 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 it was a it was a good feeling memorial then you go to the korean war it's a little bit more somber than you go to vietnam and it's quiet uh, it's very emotional tears uh it's 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 interesting how it changes when you you saw that when you went from one to the other Register for the October 20th Honor Flight is September 7th. To register a veteran or to learn more, visit honorflight.org or you can call 1-888-998-1941.